our bison and lamb industries, uh, uh, both in particular, are relatively small uh, in compared to uh, global mar the global market as far as that's concerned. So uh, with respect to uh, bison in particular, um, per getting more market access is very important because we, we need to continue to grow these uh, industries. We need to uh, be able to grow our supply uh, from a bison stand uh, standpoint. And in order to do that, we need market access. We need to have growth and, and growth is important in terms of the sustainability of our industry. And of course, obviously, the sustainability is based on strong financial uh, basis for, from an industry standpoint. So market access is very key to being able to sustain our industry and sustain growth in our industry. As it relates to lamb, much the same issue. We are a relatively small industry when you compare us uh, from a global standpoint. Uh, our lamb industry has uh, in a, Re retreated somewhat from a supply standpoint over the last four to five years. At the same time, we have historically high uh, returns or historically high prices for lamb. We have historically high demand for lamb. And so we really need to uh, increase uh, our supply. And in order to increase supply, you need to have adequate market access. Probably less of an issue for lamb than it is for bisons, but still an issue. In order for the industry to grow, it needs to have the correct signals from the marketplace. And the marketplace gives those signals based on what the potential is or what the opportunity is. And if we don't have access to the right markets um, in the right timing, which is now, uh, that tends to curb the uh, potential growth of, of the industry or doesn't send enough of a strong signal to encourage growth, uh, which, which really uh, impacts our industry, well it impacts our industry now, it impacts our industry down the road and, and so from a bison standpoint it's key. It is also a key from a lamb standpoint in particular because we uh, have enjoyed a substantial uh, increase in consumption in Canada. What we've seen is a retreat of supply in Canada and, and that is because we've come out of BSE where the wrong or, or where market access wasn't available, uh, either in the U.S. or, or uh, other international markets. And so that sends a signal to the industry in the immediate term that tends to impact the industry over the long term. And that's what's happened. That's why we're currently in a position where while we have record high livestock prices in lamb, record uh, high uh, demand in and consumption in lamb in Canada, we've not seen the same response from a supply standpoint and in order for our industry to continue to grow we must continue to increase growth. That growth occurs as a result of market signals. Alma's involvement in market access will be key uh, in, in, uh, in with respect to providing a focus for the various agencies that are charged with the responsibility of developing market access or gaining market access where we currently don't have it. And in the case of Bison, uh, access to the U.S. market in the same fashion that the U.S. has access to the Canadian market would be very important. 